with the exercise eating 2,000 calories just like before. But now, because of the excess insulin I'm pumping them full of, 500 of those 2,000 straight to fat, just like what the tax department does to your paycheck, right off the top. Gone before you had a chance to spend it, gone before you had a chance to burn it. You are now 500 calories heavier. If you stood on the scale, you would now weigh a seventh of a pound more. And I did it to you. Now, you ate 2,000, but you lost 500 to your fat. How many do you have left to burn? 1,500. But your body wants to burn 2,000 because that's where it feels good. So what do we call the physiologic state where your body has fewer calories than it wants to burn? It's called starvation. So how do you feel when you're starved? Crappy, tired, slothy, sit on the couch, don't want to do anything, don't want to exercise, maybe play video games, and of course hungry. In the world of free access to food, which Dr. Proieto lives in, what's he going to do? Eat back the 500. Except I'm still pumping them full of insulin, so 100 of those 500, whoosh, now you're 600 calories heavier, you're only up to 1,900 to burn, you still don't feel great. So you go to a doctor, you go to a nutritionist, you say, Doc, I don't understand this. Every time I get on the scale, I weigh more, and I don't feel good doing it. And the doctor looks at you and says, Oh, I know why you're gaining weight. You're a glutton and a sloth. You eat too much, you exercise too little. And guess what? It's true. You are now. But it's not because you chose to. It's not because you want to. It's because you have to. It's a biochemical drive set up by the excess insulin I pumped you full of. Everybody got it? So let me take you through the real first law of thermodynamics. Here's the way to restate it so it actually makes sense. If you're going to store it, that is, an obligate weight gain set up by, ins by biochemical factors out of your control, of which insulin happens to be the most important one, but not the only one, and you expect to burn it, that is, normal energy expenditure for normal quality of life, because energy expenditure and quality of life are the same thing, then you're going to have to eat it. And now, the two aberrant behaviors that we ascribe to obesity are actually a result of our bio biochemistry. They are markers for the problem. They are not the problem. And that's why diet and exercise doesn't work and never will. The object is to get the insulin down. That's the way to treat obesity. Hypothalamic obesity is the window on which we understand this pathway and this uh, negative feedback balance. And I hope you will all go home and Apologize to your patients, <laughs> okay, and do the right thing. With that, I'll thank my colleagues and answer questions. Thank you, Professor Gusti. Uh, I'm certain that you will agree that we have been treated to three excellent lectures, and fortunately.